I don't know how I feel about Woodman Spare That Tree. Part of this was really good. Part of it I found to be quite dull. In general, I'd say it's an okay cartoon. This is a Screen Gems Fox and Crow cartoon from 1942. It's directed by Frank Tashlin and Bob Wickersham and written by Jack Cosgrove with a voice cast provided by Frank Grimm. And this sees the fox as a lumberjack trying to chop down the tree that the crow lives in and needless to say the crow is not very happy about this so throughout the cartoon the crow tries various things to stop the fox from doing this and it started off quite well with him reciting a poem i quite liked that i thought it worked very well and then the rest of the cartoon is very slow very dull i didn't care for the crow's performance the fox was okay I'd say the fox had some interesting mannerisms. I quite liked the fox, but the crow was just very boring and I didn't really care for anything he was saying or anything he was doing. In this particular cartoon, I found the character to be very dull. But then right towards the end, something happens. It's not actually something the crow does. It is something the fox does, but it was something that I really hadn't anticipated and it was so bizarre that it kind of recaptured my attention. And I thought, actually, hang on, this is a pretty fascinating cartoon. So it started off well, it finished well. I'd say about 70% of the middle is not very good at all. And it's a shame, but most Fox and Crow cartoons, at least most that I've seen, are actually quite enjoyable. To have one that's not that great, I guess, isn't so bad. The animation quality is fine, it's very well animated, it's not that exciting to look at, but there's nothing bad about the animation. The narrative itself could have worked. Indeed, there are other fox and crow cartoons where the fox is trying to get at the tree where the crow lives, and the crow is trying to stop him. So it is a concept that does work, but in this particular cartoon, it was very dry, very slow, very dull. Didn't really care for it. If you're a Fox and Crow fan and you haven't seen it, I recommend it. But if you're just looking for a good cartoon, then Woodman Spare That Tree is not one that I'd be recommending.